you only know a planet as well as you know the star that it orbits. With Kepler, we have more than 5,000 exoplanet detections. On top of that, it's made our understanding of stars far, far more advanced than it was six years ago. But it just so happens that the properties that you need from a spacecraft to be good at finding planets are also exactly the properties you need to be good at studying stars in certain ways. And the feature of Kepler that makes it great for stellar astronomy is the fact that it can measure the brightnesses of stars very precisely. And that's the way you find planets. And it's also the way you can see star quakes going on on the surfaces of stars. And those star quakes tell us about the masses of the stars themselves. We're typically familiar with earthquakes that are caused by tectonic plates shifting around, but the Earth actually quakes in a different way as well. It is constantly vibrating and oscillating in much the same way that a bell would. It's oscillating at its resonant frequency. That's an earthquake. Stars are similar to planets. They are more rarefied. They're made of sort of more of a fluid than a a solid, but they still oscillate like the Earth does. Bells ring all the time through air particles, exciting their resonant frequency. Stars are exactly the same, they ring all the time. And just like a big bell has a deep ring and a little bell has a high ring, stars are the same. So if a star has a deep ring, it's massive. If it has a high ring, it's less massive. So Kepler is really good at measuring masses of stars because it can see stars ringing and that's because it can measure the very precise brightness changes. Both in planets and in stars, Kepler has completely changed the field and revolutionized astronomy completely.